I'm Sir Tap Tap, and just before we get started here, I want to say my internet has been terrible lately. In one month, I get real fiber internet, so streams, uh, unless things improve, um, we might just have to push streams until next month. Sorry about Chaos Wars and everything, but streams will be back. But today, we're going to talk about something I did not plan to talk about at all on, on our little adventures on YouTube. Um, it's a game we've been playing in my Discord uh, called Pokecord. And it was this cool little, um, let me bring this up for you. It was this neat little Pokemon game where you just guess Pokemon's names and you caught them. And you could even fight them and stuff, and it was pretty fun. A lot of people joined the Discord for it, a lot of people um, just played it in general, and it was, um, it was pretty cool. And yesterday, out, out of frick nowhere, it shut down, just completely, instantly. The bot, gone removed from my server, from every server in existence. It was in three million Discord servers. Can you believe that? I'm, I'm a little bit surprised there are three million Discord servers, you know? Um, it's kind of crazy. So, um, <coughs> excuse me. It's, uh, this is the Pokemon Puzzle League, by the way. I just have to have some kind of music, right? Um, yeah, you can read right there. It, it just, it sounds like the, the creator Apparently who was working alone, I guess just Got tired and just it was a lot of work, which I can definitely imagine and just No announcement that like oh in a week. It'll be shutting down in a month. Whatever just gone and that <laughs> I'm I'm kind of stunned by that. I, I had figured something this big. I mean, it's a copyright gray area so I can imagine just you know handing it over to somebody maybe you know, you'd have to pick somebody you trust. I'm gonna show you this is I can't show you the game too much because, you know, it's shut down, but this is the channel that we had it in. Um, you, the wild Pokemon would spawn, you'd put P catch, whatever the, you know, it's a guessing game. And it was really good for teaching you Pokemon's names. You would, uh, you kind of learn how to spell things. And a lot of people that didn't really understand Pokemon were like, how do you know how many of these, th how do you know so many names? It's like, you just, you just learn. <laughs> it's just familiarity. But uh, it was really fun. And... I don't know if this is going to be long term exactly. I mean, it certainly certainly sounds like it, but I don't know if they said if they might change their minds. I it sounded pretty final. Um, it really does suck. I do want to say there are other Pokemon. Um, there are other Pokemon um, Discord bots. In fact, I have an article which <laughs> I uh, did not realize would be so relevant. But yeah, you can see right here, I actually, um, I noticed that my Pokecord guide was pretty popular, so I thought, hey, I'll, I'll do a little, you know, article showing the, uh, different, rest in peace, um, the different, uh, Discord bots. Um, Pokemon Mystery Discord is really cool. It, it, it is, it's actually unique in gameplay. It's kind of like Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, as you might expect, um, but it has kind of its own features. Like, you have six moves, it's really interesting. And you just get to pick which Pokemon you are. You don't have to catch them. So you just get to be, you don't get to be legendaries, but uh, pretty much anything else. Um, it's really cool. And there's, um, there's PVP and stuff too. Uh, Pokecord had that too, but <laughs> rip. Um, there's also Mewbot. If you want something that's basically Pokecord, but with some extra features, uh, Mewbot is basically that. In fact, you can see if we go back to my Discord here, we've been using this uh, Mewbot for a while. Now at the moment, Mewbot is like, Toast. Mewbot is like not doing too good because I think a bunch of people are doing what I'm trying to suggest right now and they, they replace Pokecord with Mewbot. Uh, Mewbot, I always thought it was honestly better, but it has stability issues. Uh, in fact, it, the whole thing went down and they lost everybody's save a few months ago or something. And <laughs> I, I almost didn't bring it back to the server because um, save data lost to me. That is. Oh, that is the absolute killer. I lost like an hour's worth of Sonic Rush Adventure and I've played like 10 minutes of it since. That just completely kills the mood for me. So Mewbot is easy enough to play and you know other people play it too. So I brought it back in the Discord, but if Mewbot is going to be the big one, is it going to be the big, you know, Pokémon Discord bot? I really hope they improve their servers and stuff because let, let's see let's see right now. Um at Mewbot. Oh, maybe it's because it's a uh, 
because it's a uh, private channel you bought. Oh, it is online now. So sometimes it's not online and sometimes it just doesn't work until it comes back. And it's pretty common with MewBot and hopefully, hopefully they can improve that. It is a cool bot. You can fish. Uh, let me see if I have, if there's me fishing. Most people don't fish, but I like to fish. Fishing basically just forces the Pokemon to spawn and only you can catch it, but they're only, it's only water types. Um, but it's a cool game. It was a good show. Yeah, this is me fishing. You can't see, there's a little, uh, MewBot is actually really professionally well done. Um, you can battle and stuff. I don't know if I have me dueling. Yeah, here's here's what the fishing thing looks like. You've encountered, um, that was probably a Tentacruel. Um, Huntail, Huntail. <laughs> That's why I didn't catch it, huh? Um, but yeah, it gives you a little hangman kind of mini game. That's really cool. And there's also NPC duels. There's there's six v six matchups which Pokecore never had. There's status moves which again Pokecore didn't have. Um, as you can see, lots of people. Like look here, Faye has um, sixty five Pokemon. Gosh, I had like two thousands. <laughs> they really piled up in Pokecore. For a, for a, you know, legally gray fan project, it was really well done. And I, I'm not surprised it got shut down, but I'm surprised it got shut down in this sort of way. I was just kind of figured uh, Nintendo would do it. In fact, I'm sitting on a video right now of a project that I was waiting for Nintendo to shut down because I didn't want to be the one responsible for it. Um, and it's still up like t two, three weeks later. Um, I don't know if I should just publish that video now or what, but it's... Nintendo has been less bad, I will say. Um, Nintendo stopped doing the content ID thing. I think they killed their stupid creators program. I hated that. That was that was such a bad deal for YouTubers. Um, but they are improving. I, I'm not gonna say that they never litigate against fan projects anymore, because I'm, I'm sure they do. But um, they do seem more chill, especially with YouTube. Uh, I'm not sure about fan games. I don't make fan games. And projects getting shut down or just not completed is usually why on this channel uh, I really love and support fan creators and stuff. Um, but I need to, I, I always want to play a game that's finished. Not even just like a good beta, but finish. That's why AM2R came out and I did a full playthrough. I did a full stream and that was really fun. <laughs> shut down like a week later. But hey, it's the game is still good. The game, you can still find the game. Uh, trust me, you can find it. I, I can't give you a direct link or anything, but you. If you want it, you can get AM2R and you can play that right now. And um, the 3DS Samus game is, is quite different from AM2R. Um, if you've already played that, um, I would still play it. I would still play AM2R. And if you've already played to AM2R, you still play the 3DS game. They're, they really don't replace each other at all. They're, 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 they're quite different reinterpretations. Anyway. I guess I'm running out of things to talk about this. I'm just, I'm just floored. I didn't, I wasn't planning to do this video, but I wanted to post something about it because people keep asking about, posting about it in the Discord. Which, by the way, join our freaking Discord, uh, sirtap.com/discord. It's in the, um, it's in the link of, it's in the description of every video I do, pretty much. Um, this is, this is the Discord. This is us. We were posting about, I was talking about posting, adding progress bars to YouTube and stuff. I was also awake before everyone else, which I always am these days. I swear I'm the only person in the Discord that wakes up before, like, noon. <laughs> um, it almost sucks having a normal sleep schedule, <laughs> because I know so many people that don't. Anyway, we've gotten to the portion of the video where I'm rambling, so... Rip Pokecord. Hope you come back, baby. But, uh, it was fun if it didn't. This is like send off credits music now. Um, not even planned, but I hope Mew I hope Mewbot improves their servers and stuff. If you want to play Mewbot with us, the one thing I ask is don't join our server only to try to do stuff with Mewbot. A lot of people did that with Pokecord, and the thing with Mewbot and Pokecord, the way they work is people chat and then with certain amounts of real chat, not spam, not repeated messages. Um, Pokemon will spawn. Um, you only get Pokemon from real talking. You only get it by just actually saying stuff. Like all of this stuff in here, Pokecord would read all of these other channels, you know, 100% orange juice, general, mobile, all of that stuff, and it would poop out a Pokemon every random number of messages from unique people. So if you just join and you don't talk, Pokemon are gonna spawn. Um, 
So if you want to make Pokemon spawn, actually just come say hi. Tell us what you've been playing. Um, you know, what brought you here? What, what, you know, you talk about my videos, talk about whatever. We have, as you can see, we have a fair amount of uh, different channels here. If you're into Abyssrium, Animal Crossing. I still have the Food Fantasy channel. It's gotten, it's gotten quiet lately, but hey, people still playing. Um, I have quit myself, but I don't begrudge people for still playing stuff. I've never been one to, you know, disparage people for just enjoying something without hurting anybody else. I, I get kind of mad at, at people that are like, how dare you enjoy things? Like, I, <laughs> I could never be that kind of YouTuber, and it kind of sucks because that kind of YouTuber tends to be very popular, but, uh, I'd rather be real and unpopular <laughs> than popular and just fake and just Ugh, awful. I just really... <laughs> Honestly, the only big YouTubers... This is totally off the topic of you... Pokecord. I gotta stop the video, but... Let me finish that thought. The only big YouTubers I really follow are, um... Vinny and Joel from Vine Sauce. They're, they're, they're quite good. Um... Probably already heard of them, but if you hadn't, hey, check them out. If you like my, you know... Videos of weird games and stuff, um... Vinny from Vine Sauce does a lot of that. Um... Come back, Pokecord. I miss ya. If anybody has suggestions for Pokecord alternatives, please do leave them in the comments. Um, I'll, I'll check them out. I, I don't know if I'll bring them into the server or not. Because, you know, yeah, I can't just add every bot imaginable. But, um, Mewbot was cool. I hope they improved Mewbot. Tell me your coolest Pokecord moments, too. Reminisce with me about this thing that, until 24 hours ago, I had no idea I would miss and, like, think, Oh, geez, that, that sure was cool. And... Here we are. Sucks, sucks these, this, this digital world sometimes. And usually games, <laughs> games that aren't always online and stuff, usually they can't disappear, but this was, you know, all networked through Discord servers, so it, it really is gone. You can't just run your own thing, unless they release the code for it or something. Which I really do hope happens. I hope the project gets moved somewhere, just open source it or something for Pete's sake. Um, I'm trying not to be too harsh on the guy, but just, Crashing it. it, that's, that doesn't seem appropriate to me, but, um, I don't know what's in their head, I don't know what they're thinking, maybe, maybe they just, you know, had some stress, just really needed to not be working on it, and maybe in a week or so we'll hear more, we'll get an open source, I don't know. Anyway, thanks for watching, enjoy the Pokemans, um, here's to hoping Gen 9 has all the Pokemon. Yeah, I'm, I'm one of those people that didn't, that didn't get Gen 8. Sue me. Alright gamers, remember to like, subscribe, and smash that bell! Frog, what are you doing in my house? I-I-I would just get out!